note the bow as our voice, as a string player, as an extension of our body. We are always thinking about the balance of five things, five elements. How much weight are we putting into the bow? Where in the bow are we playing? What sounding point are we using? How much hair are we using? And how, what is the bow speed that we are using? Those five elements and changing their relationship into each other as we're playing impacts our sound. That's how we start to develop our artistry. It's like an artist has, you know, solid dark blue. It, we do not want it all to be dark blue. They may want all sorts of different tints and shapings and colors within that. So what do they do? They, they mix colors. They add a little water if they're using watercolors. They change the tone and the, the intensity of the color. We do that with those five elements of our, bow, of our bow while we're playing. So one, we think about sounding points. We have a number of points on the string that our hair can touch. We can touch close to the bridge and get a very strong sound, but we can change that too. I can play close to the bridge at the frog and because the frog is the heaviest part of my bow, I'm going to get a heavier, stronger sound just, just by the nature of the weight of the frog. I can also lay my hair flat. I can turn it. We usually, violinists usually turn the stick away so that I'm using only some of the hair. I can change the speed that I'm playing. So if I'm at the frog and I'm using a lot of bow, I'm playing close to the frog and I'm putting a lot of weight in. I can use less weight. Slow the speed down. I can, if I use, if I have too much weight, too close to the frog, maybe the speed is too slow, it's crunching. So I hear this and I'm like, I've got to change something in my balance. Hmm, I want to play at the frog. I'm really heavy, so let me add some speed. I just cleaned up that sound from scratch to hearing a deep, rich sound by moving the bow faster. We can put the bow out closer to the fingerboard, play with less weight, more speed. I'm using, I'll call it, you know, three bow hairs. Fast bow speed. sound but I still have a I still always want a little core to my sound so this it's too fuzzy so now I want a soft sound so I have to put a little more weight I'm gonna put it in with my middle two fingers because I don't want an edge and there I go now I have the softer sound but I have a core to it because I thought about which fingers are putting the weight. All of these things impact our sound.